47 year old male with some pain of the AC joint going on for Two months, uh, not responding well to physical therapy. He's focally tender over the AC joint. Of course, all AD reduction signs positive. I'm going to go ahead today and do a chromic cavicular joint cortisone injection. Here we're going to run through a chromic cavicular joint injection. We have the rotator cuff and the surrounding musculature removed. Now we're making the capsule and the surrounding ligaments of the acromic cavicular articulation translucent, and we can see that disc between the clavicle and the acromion. Here is our initial approach, which is an ataplane approach, where essentially you just see the tip of the needle getting just under the capsule of the acromioclavicular articulation. And here we are injecting that joint. You can see some distension of the capsule as you inject. And now during the same procedure, we rotated the probe and the syringe, and here we are doing an in-plane approach of the acromioclavicular joint. Here we're just looking at the acromic clavicular joint. Clavicle is on the left side. You can see the acromic clavicular articulation with the capsule that's distended above the joint. And really that space created by the tenting of the capsule is gonna be your target. What we're gonna do is really just basically just get the injection above it and it'll just trickle down. Uh-huh. Right there. So we're gonna just, we're at 12.45. Just wanna center. Here we're just marking where we're putting pressure with the swab. So you basically want to get your target in the center of the screen, and this way you can just line it up with the marking on the probe, and then you can just put your needle right underneath the probe, and hopefully that will get right into the target. Here we're a little bit lateral initially, so we have to redirect our needle and go more medial. So we get just under the capsule of the AC joint. Too lateral. So now you can see that tip in the joint. Here you can see that the injectate is within that space underneath the capsule above the articulation of the acromion and the clavicle. Here you can see those bright dots, which are essentially the injection. Again, that should be seeping into the acromioclavicular articulation. And here we are continuing with the procedure. During this procedure, we also decided to do an implant approach. We just rotated the probe and the syringe a little bit in order to do an implant approach. I'm going to try to do a long axis view here. Here we have a long axis view now. And here we can see the needle, we can see the tip of the needle going underneath the capsule above the acromioclavicular articulation. Again, you don't want to squeeze it between the bones as there is a disc there which you don't want to damage. So essentially as long as you're underneath that capsule, you're going to basically inject the acromioclavicular joint which we're doing here. 1249. And here you can see the injected, which is that bright flash, and eventually that will seep down into the acromioclavicular articulation. Mm. There we go. Yeah, that that and here's a close up of this in plane approach of the acromioclavicular joint injection. Cause? This is after the injection. We didn't use any lidocaine because it does have some chondral toxicity. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to. But maybe for him it would have been good diagnostically. But um, what are they? Duele? El lado. Arriba. El su. Todo un poquito mejor. Hace algo que te duele. Menos dolor o... Menos, menos. Menos dolor. Good, less pain. Okay, bueno.